Marty, you look upset. Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing really. This brush is supposed to change colours with my mood, but it's not working. You mean the enchantment failed? That's right, but it's probably just a prank. Someone switched it out with a normal brush. I can still use it though. Hmm, I wonder if anything else isn't working. not good. And if it's happening here, that means... Neither is Lottie's brush, and there are other things too, which means it's all my fault. Calm down. Whatever is going on, it's not your fault. No, but it's spreading, almost like a virus. That is weird. I didn't think a golden snitch could get sick. Don't be silly, of course it can't. It's not a living thing. But something is causing enchantments to fail. And it all started with me. Everyone's going to hate me when they find out. Maybe someone is trying to make it look like it's your fault. Got any enemies? Someone was definitely following me by the lake. I heard a voice. Although I couldn't make out what they were saying, it almost sounded like breathing. Could have been a Dementor. They don't say much. Dementor? Wonderful. That makes me feel so much better. I did hear that someone from the Ministry might be coming to look into it. Uh, I doubt the Ministry is going to send someone just to check out a few faulty brooms, even if they are cursed. Quite an entrance, Harry. Don't tell me you flew all the way from London. Operated just south of Hogsmeade. But I couldn't pass up the chance to fly over the castle. It's good to see you, Neville. Students, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine from my school days. This is Harry Potter.
I won't stand aside for all who fight against evil. Don't stand aside for all who fight against evil. Stupefy. Incendio. Stupefy. Incendio. Stupefy. Harry's here to look into your broomstick incident. Nothing official, mind you. Just out of curiosity. If it's okay, I might have a few questions for you. Sure. Anything I can do to help? Great. I'll see you later then. This is excellent! You can ask him for help! If anyone knows about flying under pressure, it's Harry Potter! Be sure to ask him about disillusionment charms, and cursed brooms, and dementors too! It would be great to get some advice from Harry Potter. But that means I'll have to fly in front of Harry Potter. Oh no! I really need to practice! at this I should be better I just need to keep practicing focus right I'm not going to get any better on the ground
Why is this so difficult? Because you're trying too hard. <gasps> Mr. Potter! Please, call me Harry. Oh, all right. Harry? Um, what did you mean exactly? Because it feels like the harder I try, the worse I become. <laughs> and why do you think that is? Because... because I'm never going to be better, am I? I'm always going to be terrible at flying. Not at all. You're quite good, in fact. Or you would be if you'd stop getting in your own way. Look at it this way. Your broom wants to fly. All you have to do is let it. If you try too hard to control it, if you overthink it, you're not letting the broom do what it was made for. I doubt it. A curse like that requires constant eye contact, and that was only one broom. No, I don't think a curse is your problem. Your problem is that you're distracted. Let's try again. Go on, mount up. Now, let everything go. Your fears, your worries, classwork, everything. Focus only on the broom beneath you and the sky above. Let the rest of the world fade away. Now, fly.
Well done. That was magnificent. <laughs> Thank you. That was my best flight yet. Your advice really helped. I thought it might. And here's something else you might find useful. It's a broomstick servicing kit. This ought to help keep you flying straight. And in style. That's very generous. Thank you, Mr. Potter. <laughs> Sorry, Harry. You're lucky, you know. Hogwarts is a very special place. Every time I'm here, so many memories come rushing back. It sounds like you had quite a few adventures. Heard about some, have you? Don't believe everything you read. No, of course not. But still, you are Harry Potter. True. But every time I got myself into trouble, it was my friends who helped me find a way out. I didn't do it alone. I understand. I've had quite a few adventures myself, although not always on purpose. They just seem to happen sometimes. That's usually how the best ones start. I remember the first time I visited the Forbidden Forest. It was for detention, believe it or not. I saw... I saw a desperate man drinking the blood of a unicorn. That sounds awful. It was, truly. The lengths to which some are willing to go just to hold on to power. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't be telling you this. It takes a certain amount of reckless courage to enter the Forbidden Forest. Something I had in abundance in my youth. And now? And now I'm an adult who's supposed to know better. So I advise you to avoid that forest at all costs. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Come on, let's head back. Neville promised me a pumpkin juice before I leave. That might be the saddest golden snitch I've ever seen. There's something wrong with it. With a lot of things, actually. Wherever I go, magical items seem to fail. Oh, I thought it was part of a curse, that something's been following me. But now I'm not sure. Maybe it is just me. Very curious. And this started with the brooms? Yes, and now it seems to be spreading. That is concerning, but I doubt it has anything to do with you. Don't worry, your professors will figure out what it is. In fact, maybe I'll look into it as well. Really? Thank you. Oh, I should probably return this to the Quidditch tent. Are you sure? Now that you've got a working broom, maybe you should keep it locked up in your trunk. <laughs> That's a good idea, but I probably shouldn't. Alright, I'll wait for you. No, it's fine. Go ahead, I'll catch up. All right. Favorite team mascot, go. Hmm, Ballycastle's Barney the Bat is adorable. And Bantry Bangers have got a dragon. But I'd have to go with Bulgaria. Right, Vila, of course you'd pick them. 
Typical wizard. What's got your wand in a knot? Quidditch is ruined. Magic is malfunctioning. What do they expect us to do? Divination? Be nice. Some wizards and witches actually believe in that stuff. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I guess that explains why the tent is always so clean. Hmm, maybe I will keep you in my trunk, just in case. What's wrong with you? Maybe Professor Flitwick can take a look at you when he's done with the brooms. You're not getting away this time. Stay back. Rebellion, Rependo. What do you want from me? You escaped me before, but not this time. 